I wanted to remind everybody of something. All of this talk about end times, about the book of Revelation playing out, about Bible prophecy, all of that only means one thing, that you and I are getting closer and closer to meeting Jesus. And that excites me. It's exciting to be the generation that gets to see Jesus' return. And I'm bringing this up because there's a lot of believers that think that I'm fear-mongering, that by talking about the end times, you know, that's somehow a scare tactic. And let me say this. If you're a Christian that does not want to pay attention to what's going on, that does not want to read what happens in the last days and correlate it to current events, if you want to stick your head in the sand, that's your prerogative. That's absolutely fine. You don't have to, but know that I do. I want to be paying attention because we are actually called to be watchful. We are called by our Lord and Savior to be paying attention to what is going on in our world. Why? So we will know the season of his return. And why is that important? So you and I could go and preach the gospel of Jesus with urgency. That's the point. We are supposed to know what is going on and comparing it to scripture. We are supposed to. You know, we're not supposed to just sit in our houses and say, nobody knows the time. Nobody knows when he's coming back. Guess what? He says that we are not supposed to be in darkness like the world will be. That means that we are supposed to be paying attention. You know, especially with what I'm saying about Trump recently, there's just so much confusion, y'all. I'm sitting and looking at everything that is happening from a distance. I'm looking at it with spiritual eyes. For those that want to get so consumed with red versus blue and Democrat versus Republican and Harris versus Trump, know that God is in control. And what will happen, no man can stop that. God is in control and he will put who he needs in power to fulfill Bible prophecy, to fulfill his will. All of this stuff is going to happen. The Antichrist will step out onto the scene. So for us Christians to be analyzing what's going on and comparing it to scripture, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm sorry to say, but this does not get better. The Bible is very clear about that. We are in the last seconds of the last days. And by saying that, I'm not trying to be fearful or instill fear or, you know, fear monger or whatever you think. It's speaking the truth. It's speaking urgency to get number one closer with Christ, but to also go out and share the gospel with others because Jesus is on his way back. He's on his way to take us home, and that's exciting. So I want to talk about it. Again, with what I said with Trump, you know, I'm not saying don't go vote. I'm not saying vote for Harris because obviously that's a demonic cult. What I am proposing, though, is because we are in the last days, because we are so close to going home, it is a very real possibility that we are being deceived. It's a very real possibility that Satan has come in and given us two wings of one bird. The left is so obviously evil, everybody knows that, so it it detours everybody to the right. And on the right could possibly be a Trojan horse. There's thousands of accounts of Democrats converting and now voting for Trump. And what a more perfect situation from the enemy to give us two wings of one bird, to make us think that we actually have a choice. I mean, that's kind of what the Bible tells us will happen, y'all. He tells us, God tells us that the world will be deceived. He says, even if possible, even the very elect will be deceived. And that's possibly what we're watching. I'm not saying don't go vote. I'm not saying vote for the Democrats. What I am just proposing is that we are in the last seconds of the last days and we might be deceived. These are exciting times to be alive. It's an honor to be the generation that sees Jesus come back. And so I just wanted to say that I'm not ever trying to scare anybody or fear monger. What I'm doing is pointing out what is going on in our world, you know, so we can know the season so that we can be prepared and be ready for his return. And that means going out and sharing the absolutely beautiful gospel of Jesus.